Hey there, fellow wanderers. This is Hate's Wanderings. Today we got a cool video coming at you. Um, I am going to be trying a bit of a challenge today. We are going to be using some soft plastics that I have never before tossed. This is gonna be the first time I've ever used them and we're gonna try them out. Recently I was contacted by a Japanese uh, lure company, Nico, and they um, wanted me to kind of look at their products. So I went ahead and chose a few of their products. One of them that I absolutely know the smallmouth are going to crush. And then I chose a couple of other lure, sorry, not lures, soft plastics. I chose some other soft plastics to challenge myself to see if I could get a muskie to hit them. So the first thing we're fishing with today the first thing we're fishing with today are these Nico Helgramites. We got this one and we got this one. So we got the Helgramite in the three inch watermelon red flake and brown and gold flake right here. I know the smallmouth are gonna crush these. I'm gonna have a lot of fun catching fish on these today. Now, that's only the first part. My second thing that I'm going for is I'm gonna see if I can catch fish on some non-traditional lures, so it's a bit of a challenge. We have a octopus right here. Now this is a six inch octopus, and honestly I wasn't really sure how to rig it because I'm not fishing in the ocean, I'm not fishing deep, I'm fishing shallow. Now this thing is supposed to float, so what I'm thinking about doing, casting it out, twitching it along the surface, I feel like a muskie is gonna come up and just smash this thing. We'll see if that happens. I don't know. Now the reason I went with this Nico Soft Plastics is, well I'm just actually show you a video right now of the reason why. What you're seeing in this video right now are some bass that I recently caught and as I caught them they spit out three or four Senkos, Yum Dingers, etc. Different soft plastic stick baits. Um, and it really, really concerned me. What happens is we lose these soft plastics, they get into the water, and what happens to them? Do they break down? Do they not break down? Honestly, I don't really know. What I like about this Nico plastics is that they're biodegradable and they don't hurt the environment, right? We're up here in the great UP. Let's keep our environment as pristine as possible. So I wanna try out these, you know, biodegradable, uh, environmental friendly lures or plastics and see what happens. So let's get going, let's get fishing and we're gonna have fun today. Our first concern, catching fish on the Helgramite. Now let's see what this uh, let's see what this little Helger might let's see what it looks like in the water. There we go. First cast. Oh, oh my gosh, first cast. This is not me. I didn't cast a million times and then get one of these on the first cast. Like, no, 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 this is legit. That was my first cast with this and I had a small mouth. Mm. I told you this fit, this lure would catch some fish. All right, let's see if we can get two smallmouth, two casts. My very first two casts. Oh, big bite. There we go. Ah, I knew it. Oh, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think it's my hook. Look, my hook is bent right here. Ah. Oh. Two nice smallmouth. 
like two extra bites and I bite what five six casts I think this lure is gonna go in my uh, I think it's gonna be going into my tackle box I didn't, I didn't think that would work. That was a small mouth. Got another one. That's a little fighter right there. Pretty fish. Another nice fish right there on that Nico. Nice chunky fish. Look at that. Just destroyed that octopus. Oh my gosh. Beautiful fish. Oh. Wow. That's a, that's a chunky smallmouth right there. Whole. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh no, I got it all screwed up. Oh no. Oh gosh darn it. That fish just came out and creamed this. Oh, look at that. Look at that fish right there, beautiful. I just had a big bass follow. Let's get him on the uh, on the sculpin. Oh! There we go. Told you I had a nice bass. Right there, look at that. Look. Had a, had this bass follow in that octopus. Casted that little uh, Helgramite and boom. Got a walleye. I didn't think a walleye would bite that Helgramite. Check that out. That is so cool. Beautiful. Walleye and the Helgramite.
so I must say that was an unexpected catch right there. I was not thinking I'd get walleye, but that is so cool. Now the truth is that I'm at a completely new spot today. I have never fished here. Uh, I could have taken that, you know, taken this uh, Nico bait to one of my, you know, spots where I catch a lot of fish. Um, but I wanted to try a completely new spot today and see what would happen. So far, caught quite a few smallmouth and one walleye. All right, so I have caught three, three smallmouth on this six inch octopus. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna go to an area with larger and more concentrated fish populations and I'm sure I'm gonna get some crazy bites on that lure. And I ended up with nine fish on this Nico, and I got, um, on this Helgramite, I mean, I had so many bites. Like, everything out here was biting this thing. I had panfish biting it, I had walleye biting it, bass biting it. Um, really like this little lure, and I'm going to continue using it for sure. I'm going to get another day of footage in using this lure. I'm pretty sure, and then I'm gonna do another day trying to do that challenge using the octopus, because I'm pretty sure I can catch musky. Alrighty, right there. Beautiful little lure. For now, I'm heading on home. Look at that right there. That muskie just whacked a Helgramite right there. That's a 20.5 right there. So I've had a 20, 20.5, and a 19.5. Look at that. Oh, that's a glorious fish. Oh, nice fish. Oh, this is a this is a big fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a huge one. Oh. That might be another 20 incher right there. <laughs> 